I hate waking up at 8 a.m. like the next student, but today is Aston Hack. What exactly is Aston Hack? Well, it's a 24 hour hackathon where you go to compete for prizes and it starts today. Rather than being all the way in Barcelona, this time it's just at Aston University, so it's literally just across the road from me. It's a bit different for me, at least, this year. I used to be the social media secretary for the ACSS. That's essentially the Aston Computer Science Society. Aston Hack used to be the biggest event that we ran, and I used to advertise all the time on social media, so it's gonna be a bit weird for me this year. I'm gonna be at the event with my company that I did for placement year, as you can see, Code Wizards. And we're gonna do a little presentation and a challenge for all the hackers there. So, catch you there. Essentially, what's been happening at Aston Hack is that I've been sponsoring, I've been going around with my boss, Stuart Muckley, who's part of Code Wizards, and I've been helping out people who need help with our challenge. Our challenge, by the way, is really cool. We've been working with Music For Youth, so I'll drop some images of that right now on the, on the video. We're interested in doing interesting things with technology and music. What we really want out of this is we want to do something really cool for Music For Youth. And yeah, it's just been a really good experience. So hats off to those guys who have been working hard, making it happen. And I look forward to getting back at midnight for pizza. Yummy, yummy. So yeah, it's gone pretty well so far. Pizza time. Mm. 
12 o'clock midnight. Pizza confirmed. <laughs> Early the next morning. 7 a.m. and we're now on day two of Aston Hack. I'm gonna try and actually do some interviews today. Let's try and get that done. <laughs> Future George, go. So MLH is the official student hackathon league and what that actually means is that we go out all over the world for over 200 events every year in North America and Europe and support student hackathon organisers and community leaders who run great events uh, for, their, for their communities. So we do a few things. Um, the first thing that we do is support organisers to make sure that you know, everything runs smoothly. And if something goes wrong, people who are sent along to events probably have seen the problem before. What we also do is equip hackers with everything they need to be successful over the weekend. So you know, we give them free credit to various services, and we also bring along this hardware lab, which is a bunch of stuff which they can borrow throughout the weekend using their projects, and then give them something cool with. We work with young musicians uh, under 21 and we put on large scale performance based events. So we have a national festival in Birmingham every year that 10,000 young musicians come to. Uh, we do, we've got three concerts at the Royal Albert Hall next week and there's a thousand performers each night. So we put on large scale events um, and we have a, they have an educational focus. We've always been a big supporter of Aston. I have to be an alumni here myself. Um, and we just wanted to give something back and get music for youth here and try and invent something interesting and innovative in the music space. We're partly here because we're um, really quite interested in uh, working with code wizards. And um, code wizards are sort of passport to people that know something about technology um, because. Uh, at the moment that's an area of work that we are not involved in that we'd like to be. So we've basically come this weekend to find out how hackathons work and to get ideas for things that we might do in the future. So we've been working with Music for Youth now for a couple of years, trying to um, help them from a technological point of view, and now we're really trying to push towards their big 50th birthday celebration in two years' time. So as part of that we're trying to get a bunch of technology-based initiatives moving forward. So. It's been really good actually, uh, something that I was saying which was um, really cool is that when they kind of told me about coming to this, uh, it was like you can come at this time and leave at this time and then also you can leave this time and go that time, but I didn't really want to go yesterday because actually I kind of wanted to stay through that whole thing, get involved and I kind of was like, actually, I wish I was doing this rather than just being involved for a sponsor or a mentor or whatever. So I did one, and yeah, this one was really, really good. The thing I really, really liked about it was uh, the fact that you weren't treated like a intern or a high school student. Um, so within a couple of months, I'd already worked out to have quite a lot of responsibility within the project. It wasn't just so much, a, you know, and the intern, it was actually being part of that team. Um, and I think that's what probably, uh, from other, I've spoken to other people who did other internships with other companies. Um, that seems to be the standout thing uh, within my group anyway, that actually being more of a, you know, just joining the firm rather than being an intern within the firm. After speaking to some of the sponsors, it seems like Aston Hack 2017 has so far been a success. <laughs> so there we go, Aston Hack's done. Now let's see what the sponsors do afterwards. And that's the vlog. There we go. All of Aston Hack completely done for another year at least. It's been really good, so hats off to the Aston Hack committee and I hope to see it again next year. So this is the vlog. Signing off. Boop. <laughs>